Today, students, welcome again to an exciting educational video today. This is Dr. Luisito Masanga at your service. Shout out and thank you very much to those students from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao who are faithfully and consistently watching my educational video. To these students, a warm round of applause to all of you. Mabuhay! Today, we are going to discuss about implementing good governance in the perspective of micro, small, and medium enterprises. Our learning outcomes for today, at the end of the educational video, students will be able to understand and implement good governance in the perspective of micro, small, and medium enterprises understand and comprehend the concept and principles of good governance, especially its implementation. What is the basic concept of good governance? Good governance is not only transparency and it is not only accountability. It is not only policies, guidelines, and structure of how to efficiently and effectively run the organization. Good governance is not only for multinational corporation because micro, small, and medium enterprises are children of God. It is not, it is not only uh, corporations who are receiving the blessings coming from our Creator. Now, in the perspective of micro, small, and medium enterprises, you can also implement good governance. Again, good governance is not only transparency and accountability. Good governance is not basically maximizing shareholders' wealth. It is not only gaining competitive advantage. It is not only increasing revenues and profitability. It is not only control over operational expenses and capital expenses. So, good governance can also be implemented by micro to small and medium enterprises. And how is this? Let's say, for example, uh, in the perspective of environmental, in the perspective of social, in the perspective of economic impact. So, these three attributes, environmental, social, and economic can be implemented as well by micro, small, and medium enterprises. If you are implementing, let's say you are a micro, small, or medium enterprises, and you are implementing good, effective, and efficient good governance, such as, for example, you are uh, hitting your profit margin, if you are hitting your revenues or sales, you have, you know, uh, close control over your expenses, you can reduce your expenses, you can identify what attributes are contributing to your high expenses and you can resolve and rectify and make solutions uh, so that your expenses can be controlled. Well, that is precisely good governance. Even though uh, you are a micro to small medium enterprises, still those practices, management practices, are being done by multinational corporations. However, good governance will not stop there. So, there is what you call corporate social responsibility. And multinational corporations set up an argument about this one that implementing CSR is an expense on their part because the environment is the responsibility of the national government or the local government. That is their argument. But of course, if everybody should be in unison, everybody is united to a common cause, like for example, saving our environment. Even though you are a micro, medium to small enterprises, you can also implement corporate social responsibility. You talk about the environmental per perspective. You talk about what you can do today will save the future generations. 
in the long run. And that is sustainability. Nowadays, a lot of companies are using renewable energy to reduce their carbon footprint. There are a lot of corporations that are using, like uh, SM in North Edsa, they invested for solar energy panels. Uh, in this way, they can uh, reduce their kilowatt hour consumption and therefore, they can minimize and reduce their carbon footprint emission to the atmosphere. There are also a lot of multinational corporations who are doing that. Let, let, let's say, for example, Starbucks. Here in Muntinlupa City, the use of plastics is no longer allowed because plastics is not biodegradable. Therefore, there is also an effort by the local government unit to protect the environment. And that is part of good governance. For example, you are a micro to small medium enterprises. Let's say, for example, you are a barber shop, a hair salon. You can also implement social responsibility, like, for example, waste segregation, because human hair is not biodegradable. It's if you learn how to separate and dispose intelligently, responsibly, your, your rubbish, like, for example, the human hair trimmings, then you can save the environment. Little effort, but, you know, in the long run, it creates an impact to the environment. Let's say, for example, uh, you can help also in the environment by, you know, uh, switching off electricity when not in use. Therefore, you reduce your kilowatt hour consumption and you reduce and minimize your carbon footprint emission. You can also use a re re renewable energy for that matter. Yes, it might be uh, expensive in the you know, in the first stage, but in the long run, it, you know, creates an impact that you charge your uh, battery packs and then you can use this overnight for your cell phones, for your lightings. So, these small matters will trigger a greater impact in the long run. We also avoid, you know, the use of fossil fuel which has a lot of, you know, uh, these greenhouse gases impact in our atmosphere. So, even though you are a micro, small to medium enterprises, and you are very good in the control of your expenses, you are hitting the target. Why do you not consider implementing social responsibility, taking care of the environment? like, you know, a responsive and responsible waste segregation. That is very important. And who knows, you might be a catalyst of change. Some of the local uh, competitors may follow you, and that makes you different. No? Or maybe you could, you know, reprocess your, you know, your, your hair trimmings, like, for example, uh, doing a socio-economic project, like for example, uh, you may use your hair trimmings and mix it with uh, foam to make a stuff toys, keychains, or maybe pillow cases, no? For that matter. So you talk about, you know, reprocessing your uh, your hair trimmings and creating a byproduct that will give some extra income to the community. There are some manufacturing uh, companies and, and uh, medium companies that is mixing plastic resins, no? their waste plastics, to uh, concrete hollow blocks. And that way, it saves the environment. But of course, as small, medium, micro enterprises, it is it good governance can be implemented by being a responsible waste segregator and you can help the environment as well and 
Another one is by implementing social perspective. You talk about the community as well. Because, you know, there are some out-of-school youth. Uh, for example, you are a hair salon or a barber shop. You can encourage out-of-school youth to be trained inside your salon. Thereby, these people become responsible instead of them hooked to drugs and addiction. You can also uh, help students who are studying in vocational schools be trained in your hair salon or barber shop to be on the job training. So that is one way of helping the community. And even though you are a micro, small to medium enterprises, you can implement social responsibility programs and that is part of good governance. Because there is effort there is compassion and love in your heart, even though you are a micro, small to medium enterprises. These people or individuals that you train inside your company, they learn how to be responsible citizens. They learn how to earn clean income. They learn how to survive no? responsibly as a citizen and as an individual. Therefore, you can help no, through your social effort, not only being a philanthropist, not only giving, you know, canned goods, use clothing whenever there is a calamity or a disaster, you can still implement good governance by thinking of the environment, thinking of the social perspective and thinking of the economic being of these individuals and community as well. So, implementing corporate social responsibility is really not an expense. But of course, there is an additional expense on that. But in the long run, it helps to save the environment, it helps the community, and giving them an extra income. And that is what you call good governance in relation to corporate social responsibility. And of course, implementing good governance through corporate social responsibility gives you advantages and benefits. Like for example, you gain a positive corporate reputation to the public. The opinion of the public is positive to you that even though you are a micro or small to medium enterprise, but still you were able to implement corporate social responsibility. Even though just a baby steps, your social responsibility program are just baby steps, in the long run, it will help really the environment and the community as well. And because you have positive corporate reputation, therefore, you are gaining more revenues. People are becoming aware of you, not because of your excellent service, but as well as you have a responsibility that you are doing to the environment, to your social, and to the community as well. And people become aware of you through your public relation, events, and programs. And you create brand awareness. People, you can communicate your brand to the people that the people will not only see you, that your service is an opportunity for them, but rather patronizing or patronizing your product or your service, they know that it is only not your business alone, but you are helping the community as well. Thank you very much for listening. Please do subscribe, like, and share the channel. Till next time, keep safe everyone.